So our world is already populated with a lot of you know, shallow AI, the if-then, you know, expert system type rule sets. And we're seeing it already in various functions like diagnostic systems in cars. So it's kind of already out there. But the next stage is the more intelligent systems that are capable of doing decision making, of doing planning, of connecting a series of events and choices together. I think at Frost & Sullivan we strongly believe that artificial intelligence is a bit of a crossroads now. We're about to pass the inflection point, if you like. I think, unfortunately, we still see a lot in the press about the, uh, the cyborgs invading uh, dystopian threats to mankind. And I think we're a little way off of that, even if it's going to come. You know, we've seen some major developments in artificial intelligence, uh, and every sector is really going to be impacted by artificial intelligence to some degree in the next five to ten years. There's been lots of studies out there that say within 20 years even, maybe 50% of jobs within the Western world may be eliminated because of artificial intelligence. And that's obviously worrying to economists, to politicians and everyone else. Thanks to technology, you've had totally new business models and it has impacted the lives of all of us. The people or the companies that will be able to leverage on technology will have a very, very unfair advantage. And so in a world where you will have mass unemployment in a world where robots will be replacing a lot of the things that we do. What is our model of society? I think artificial intelligence is one of those technologies that's, you know, this is it, this is completely going to change our lives. And it's going to completely change the way in which we approach manufacturing, the way in which we approach R&D. I think the efficiencies that that's going to bring and the optimization that that's going to bring is going to address a lot of problems that we are facing right now. Frost and Sullivan estimates to have about 8 million uh, autonomous, semi-autonomous and highly autonomous vehicles in the world in the next decade. And the entire market value by itself is going to be about 64 billion. So within this pie of 64 billion, uh, more than half of it is, will actually be constituted by software. So we are looking at a time frame of 10 years when artificial intelligence can actually make a transformational shift in this industry from semi-automated to fully automated vehicles. In the security industry, uh, companies and end users tend to be quite slow moving to new technology. Companies have to be more forward thinking and have to educate end users on the benefits and the applications of this new technology. So we're, we're entering some very interesting spaces that are uncharted territory. With all of these things, we're entering territory where we don't have a rule set yet. And at Frost & Sullivan, we can help you roadmap what of these technologies uh, are going to be coming through, which ones are going to be the most prevalent in the market, uh, and which ones are going to be the most used to the end users moving forward.